Assalamu alaikum in today's video we are looking at another brutal and attacking game of Mikhail Tal which he played against Lep Pologayowski Mikhail Tal was playing as a white and he started the game with the e4 c5 Sicilian defense knight to f3 d6 d4 pawn captures knight captures and now knight to f6 attacks the e4 pawn knight to c3 defend the e4 pawn and a6 it is the one of most famous knight of variation of Sicilian defense bishop to g5 most of the time players in this position play e6 and on the next move they play bishop to e7 but black in this position played knight b to d7 bishop to c4 queen to a5 queen to a5 attacks the bishop Bishop on the g5 so queen to d2 defend the bishop and also develops the queen and now e6 short castle bishop to e7 rook a to d1 making the battery on the semi open d file knight to c5 attacks the e4 pawn with the both knights so Mikhail Tal saved it with the rook f to e1 bishop to d7 a3 with the simple plan of b4 but if we go back uh, the computer is suggesting the best move for the Mikhail Tal in this position is a knight to f5 it's almost forced to uh, capture this knight with the pawn because if black didn't capture it uh, white can play knight captures on g7 with the check or knight captures on e7 is a very strong move because after king captures on e7 queen captures on d6 is just winning for Mikhail Tal uh, that's why it's forced to play e captures on f5 so e captures on f5 now the simple threat white is making is the rook captures on e7 if king captures on e7 then knight to d5 check and the black queen would be gone so that's why the king to f8 idea does not work because of rook captures on e7 king captures on e7 and now knight to d5 check and the black queen would be gone so it's not a good idea for the black the another move uh, black can play in this position is queen to d8 but again bishop captures on f6 pawn captures on f6 and now knight to d5 is just again winning for Mikhail Tal because now there is no way black can save this bishop uh, from Mikhail Tal so playing knight to f5 would be a very good idea but a3 is still not a bad move uh, and now black played queen to c7 saving the queen from b4 move and now b4 and now in this position black has several options the first one is to capture on this e4 square but now knight captures on e4 knight captures on e4 rook captures on e4 again there are two options for the black the first one is bishop captures on g5 and queen captures on g5 and now black can play queen captures on c4 so now this position looks equal for the both players but it's not because of knight to f5 move now Mikhail Dahl is threatening a checkmate on e7 and also attacking your queen and you cannot stop the both threats at the same time let's say if you play f6 but now queen captures on g7 again threatening a checkmate uh, threatening a queen captures on h8 threatening a rook captures on c4 so that is not a position black would want to play in this game so now let's say if black didn't capture the bishop on g5 first he plays queen captures on c4 but now it's very simple bishop captures on e7 and if black king captures back then knight to f5 check and the black queen would be gone so that's why uh, knight captures on e5 is not a good idea for black another move uh, black can play is b5 but now c cap b captures on c5 b captures and on c4 and now knight to f5 a brilliant move why it's a brilliant move it's very simple if you don't capture this knight uh, then Mikhail Tal can play knight captures on e7 and if king captures back uh, then c captures on d7 and your queen will be gone so let's say uh, you don't capture it but you say your bishop on f8 square uh, but now e5 so pawn captures bishop captures on f6 g captures on f6 and now knight to e4 and let's say now you capture the knight back but knight captures on f6 check and now there are two options for the black first to play king to e7 but after knight to d5 check this position is again winning for Mikhail Tal and let's say you move your queen to d8 uh, but now knight captures on d7 is just winning because of this open file for Mikhail Tal king uh, sorry queen and the rook so again this is not the position black would want to play against Mikhail Tal so that's why in this position he didn't play b5 he didn't play knight captures on e4 uh, he played knight sorry knight to a4 and now knight captures on a4 bishop captures on a4 and now uh, Mikhail Tal bishop is under attack so stop the video and try to find the best move for Mikhail Tal in this position
So as the title suggests, tall pieces never go back and Mikhail Tal played in this position. Brilliant bishop captures on e6, sacrificing his bishop. But why? Because of f captures on e6 and now knight captures on e6 and this knight is right now far more dangerous than any black piece. So this knight is also attacking the black queen. So queen captures on c2, offering the queen exchange but Mikhail Tal denies it with the queen to d4. King to f7 attacks the knight on this e6 square. So rook to c1 attacks the queen. Queen goes to a2. Uh, queen also attacks our knight on this uh, e6 square. And Mikhail Tal in this position played e5. Well, computer suggests that the best move for Mikhail Tal in this position is to play knight captures on g7. And after king captures on g7, e5, pawn captures, rook captures. And now there is no way black can save this bishop. Uh, let's say if he play bishop to d8, bishop captures on f6, bishop captures on f6 and now rook to e7 check is just winning because you cannot capture the rook uh, because the bishop is pinned to the king. So let's say in this position black don't play bishop to d8, he play rook to e8. But now rook captures on e7, rook captures on e7 and after queen captures on f6 check, again this position is totally winning for Mikhail Tal. But Mikhail Tal didn't play the move knight captures on g7 he in this position played e5 so d captures on e5 queen captures on e5 and now queen captures on f2 check till now a uh, black is up a piece but he realizes that his position is crumbling so he decided to give the material back going to the uh, h1 square is still not a good idea for mikhail tal because of bishop to c6 black is winning on just uh, queen captures on g2 so that's why mikhail tal played king captures on f2 knight to g4 check king to g1 knight captures on e5 rook captures on e5 bishop captures on g5 knight captures on g5 and now material is equal and it looks like that this position is equal for the both player but it's not because if we look at the black king it's totally exposed in the center and these both rooks are not participating in the game and they are still on their starting position so that's why this position right now is totally winning for mikhail tal king to g6 knight to e6 rook to e8 rook to e3 and now rook a to c8 black is offering a rook exchange but mikhail tal denies it rook to f1 bishop to b5 attacks the rook but first rook to g3 check king to h6 knight captures on g7 and now if you capture our rook then we will play knight captures on e8 so that's why black played rook to f8 again offering the rook exchange but mikhail tal denies the rook exchange with the rook to e1 rook to f6 and now h3 What's the idea behind h3 move? Well, if in the future Mikhail Tal plays rook to e4 or rook to e5, then black can play rook to f1 checkmate. So that's why Mikhail Tal first open the h2 square for the king to escape. So now rook to c2, rook to e4 threatening a checkmate on rook to h4. So now rook to c4 again offering the rook exchange, but Mikhail Tal denies it with the rook to e5 again threatening a checkmate with the rook to h5. So black played rook to c1 checkmate king to h2 and at this position black resigned because there's no way black can come back in this game but if we look at this position mikhail tal is threatening a checkmate on h5 so to stop this checkmate uh, black has to play rook to g6 stop this rook from defending the knight on this g7 square so first knight to f5 check king to h5 and now knight to e7 discover check king to h6 knight captures on g6 pawn captures on g6 and now rook to e6 so because of the massive material advantage and these two powerful rooks, Mikhail Tal is easily winning this game and that's the reason why black resigned in this game. So I hope you like this brilliant game of Mikhail Tal and if you like it, please like this video, subscribe to this channel to get more amazing and inspiring content.